Hey everybody, Dwayne here. Dwayne Bush, a uh, bud, time of day. I was getting ready to say the wrong channel name here, but Dwayne's custom bait. Sorry about that. Yeah, I know you can't see it on my hat there. Well, right there, you probably can. The pipe's too close to the light. Um, we're shooting again the uh, four-inch hog hunter. Doing it in the uh, in, in um, red shad. The black here is. For all fresh plastic. The red is pre is uh, recut. I'm cutting down, remelt. Um, and I always do put a little, and I always do put a little bit of um, fresh plastic in with it. And let me see here, where's my mold? There it is. Okay, there's the mold. Let me grab another one right over there out of my cabinet just to put the side of it. Oh, excuse me. Grab a random mold just to put the side of it so I can just clamp it down on the side. On the, I'm going to clamp it right here instead of up here today. Or I might do it on top. That way it won't, uh, with another mold it won't flop over. If, it only, if I only just use one mold, I clamp it down here. But since I'm going to put two of them on there, and this is the one I'm shooting, I'll go ahead and clamp it right in the middle. A lot of people ask. I use Erwin quick, quick grips. Um, I might see about a different one. I've got two of these that come in as a pair, and my other one doesn't lock down as good as this one does. So, and I don't understand why, but don't know about taking them apart or anything. And I'm not, so I'm not going to do that. You know, I don't want to tear it apart. So, throw this one up. This one doesn't have any extra um, DCB tournament juice in it just yet. I will add it after I get it all melted down. And I'll see if I need to add more of my red and then of the red highlight to it. Which, I didn't add any red highlight to my black, and I normally do add just a little bit. It doesn't show up a whole lot, but it will show up a little bit. Okay, let me see here. This is not red, is it? Nope, that's blue. We don't want blue. Blue doesn't go in this yet. Here we go. And there's my red. Oh, wait a minute. I might have told you all y'all wrong. Oh. Now that's red. Took me a minute here. My I had it written on top a while back, a long time ago, and it wore off, so it's kind of hard to tell for sure what it was. And we're going to use an eighth, but I'm not going to, I mean a quarter, but I'm not going to put a quarter in it, so we're going to put just a smidge in here, especially when it's getting hot because it gets, you use up, if you Normally I put it all when it's in ice cold, we'll say, because if it's in when it's hot, you got to be really careful, or it can and will take over the color. I've done it with blue before. That's quite a bit of plastic, so that's right at two cups of plastic in there. And then the red, I've got about, uh, right about a cup, so it'll make several. And then what I've got left over of the black, well, I can't do that now since I've just put the red flakes. But, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I just found some red chat right here. That's cut up. Okay. Well, red is a red chat color, I should say. Okay, that's good. That's very good, then. I've used a black, apparently, on something. I said I don't, didn't see any black. Extra, that is. For a red chad color. Blue. Okay. But that's alright. Now let me try to get this stirred up here. Okay. If you think one what I'm looking at when I look over that like that, I'm looking at my uh, plug in. I got one of the surge protectors plug ins there. 
And sometimes when you got both of these on, it'll click off and I have to get up and turn it on. Turn it back on again, it'll click off. If I set it on, it'll click off and I've got to redo it. So, well, that looks like that all spread out, so that's good. We are uh, going to do these because after we do these, then we have to run a feed. Some animals, some critters here. Well, actually, since Dad's able to get out now in the summertime, he's been feeding the chicken, so I just got to feed one dog and the horse. So it won't, doesn't take very long. Okay. I'm going to drink some coffee here in a minute. Drinking my coffee, and yeah, y'all can't. Well, good. Well, actually, from this thing, y'all can't see my mess. If I had y'all sitting right over there, you can see my mess on my table. I've got all kinds of orders right here that are extras, and a bunch right over here that are extras. Uh, some of the lizards I need to trim up. I've got a couple of devil crawls on my devil crawls laying over there, and some. I don't remember if I did a video of these or not. I guess I did, because I, I did it in a holographic um, hog hunters. And I had some extras, so I made up some ho holographic, uh, I call this color holographic bait fish, so I did some in my flute, my dying chads, I call them. So, and that's, that's been really nice, too. They really like that. I even honestly have luck with it when it's um, not not super dirty, but a little bit stained. I've caught some fish with it because it, because it puts off those different flashes still and they can see it. So I've been fortunate like that. Let's see here. I don't want this to burn because you got to be careful when you melt and remelt on a stove like this. Um, that's why you put the extra. And it, it can burn if you're not careful enough. So, and since that's, that's not automatic and it is heating up right now, I gotta stir it. I think you can just see that that right there is red. I gotta keep it away from my fingers away so I don't get burnt. It's very hot and it'll blister you right quick. So, uh, I may not have to add any extra colors to this. This is looking pretty good. We'll see once it melts down more. If I do anything, I may just put some of that uh, more remelts in it that I showed you. That I got cut up. This is mostly all remelt. So, as you know, if you've seen other people's videos that do it in the microwave, it can be done. So, I do it on stoves all the time. I've been doing it for years. I've got a whole bunch actually right here on the floor I need to go through and match up with what I have over in my cabinet. Oh yeah, this is working up real good. I don't know what I'm going to do here so y'all have to see me lick my lips and everything. I'll put some burnt bees, mangoes, Stick on. I don't know if any of y'all have used this Burt's Bees before, but my nephews really don't like the plain. I don't know what, what's in it, but it burns their lips a little bit. And they were needing some chapstick one day. They were down here watching me make my lures, and I talked them into trying it, but they didn't want to because it was the Burt's, but I told them it's just it's different. It's mango flavored, so it, it doesn't do that. It doesn't burn me, but I know what you're talking about. I can feel a tingling, and they're calling that burns them. So, oh, I just thought of something. I gotta unlock this mold here. I don't have a dual injector. I've got to hand pour the red, and then close it up and shoot the black. I hadn't looked over and was like, you dummy, you can't do that. No, I cannot. Okay. Now I've only got, 
a couple more colors of these to do. Let's see. I've got to do watermelon moon dust, red shad, green wing, hobo special. That's one, two, three, four colors that are laminate. And then I have to do one that's the regular, it's a pearl silver flake. So we'll be okay. It's only one bag of all those other colors there now. So. Oh, shoot. I gotta do one moon dust, I just see. I only sent one. Okay. Yeah, looking good. So, may not have to. Like I said, we're not gonna have to add any extra coloring. I might put me a few more pieces of this to make it exactly one cup because it's not quite one cup yet. And that's a little oily, so I may not have to say. Mm, no, I won't have to add any more uh, DCV tournament juice to it. I don't think. See, you have to uh, get it all ready. Stir this up again. I'm going to have to, I think I might put the burners here. This thing, nowhere near done as far as this one is. I mean, it was just about to be ready to, to pour it, and the black ain't nowhere near. And normally it's the other way around, so. Yeah. Normally, normally this side's done first. I just bumped up the heat on it. I might uh, might regret doing that. <laughs> it might turn off over there and I'll have to get up and go turn it back on again. Let's get back to my Cuban coffee here. <coughs> It's good and hot when both of these are almost on maximum. It gets a hot coffee really hot. And this is actually leftover coffee from last night. I went to bed and I had only drank half of it. You know, before I had, so when I went to bed, I covered up at night if I don't drink it all. And then when I do my alerts the next day, I crank them up. I crank it up and. Get it a going here. It's getting close. Ah, uh, got a good Dwayne's custom baked Dwayne die bowl. Sorry, DCB tournament juice going. Dwayne's tournament, but Dwayne's custom baked tournament juice in there. It's really good, smelling good. Both of these are on, so I got. Watch that over there for sure. Both of these click off at the same time, and they never do that unless my thing trips over there. So, the only thing is, if I get the uh, the ultra mold machine that I would love to have, I'm gonna have to get a bigger a bigger fuse put in a fuse box over there. They use a 20 amp fuse, so. And, I, um, and just this thing, I've got my phone charger, this stove, and, okay, so my iPad or my my other camera. So, and then I've got another one that has my TV, my light. Well, oh, for my um, old cable, little cable boxes that you have in your spare bedrooms and things. So, and I won't have to worry about it if I put a twenty. If I had a twenty amp in there right now, I wouldn't have to worry about it. But I'm gonna have to have it get that mold because they pull twenty amps. It says so. You have to have a twenty amp fuse. Or Something like that. Anyway, I would probably get a 40 amp to have such a such a critter. <laughs> Maybe a double 20 even. Get 
just do it that way, a double 20. So, all right, need, got to be careful. I need a little bit more red in it. Okay. It's hot, so I got to be very careful now. I actually thought I put in enough. It's been a while since I've done two cups like this, so that's another little pinch. We'll see what it does. You can see that floating in there, that little bit of white right there. We're going to hope it's enough, so if it is, this is ready to shoot then. So I have to get this red better ready. I had wondered one time what it might be like to put some blue in the black or even a gold or a green. Now I've got a purple, so that would be wild to try out sometime. For myself, I would do it for myself, and then if I liked it, maybe. Okay, there's the red now. All right, we're doing good now. Okay. And that one's turned off, and this one's still on, so we didn't, we didn't trip it. Thank goodness. Once I cut them down, it won't do it anyway, so. One thing is, if you, you got to stir and stir and stir these up good with that highlight in it. And my, all my highlights I get from Lurecraft. This is where I get my plastic. Most of my glitters, although I have tried some glitter from Walmart, and it's in a um, hexagon cut, and it's actually worked good. I did some in, uh, Green Pumpkin, no, I'm sorry, yeah, Green Pumpkin with Red Flake, it done good. The only place I have, I've only found one place that, from your stores, that, you know, your regular stores, like for this, that it wouldn't do that on, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Let me make sure. Off and three, four, five. Yep, okay. <clears throat> My numbers were off on this side over here. This one, they were off first because I used this smaller burner 90% of the time. And uh, so I cut me a little piece, of, little piece of cardboard, thin cardboard. And marked it off on this one. And I taped it on that one. Now I need to do it over here. Although I knew to do know I take it, I crank it all the way to maximum and go back to one little notch notch on this. It's got little round little circles. Half circles we'll say really. But if I go back one, that'll put it on four and a half. So and that's normally what I do. I'll crank it all the way up and then go back to one. Alrighty, that's black. And looks pretty good. I may have to add a smidge more. We'll find out in a minute when I make my first shot here. Red's looking good. Yep, it's ready to. It's ready to pour. Let's see here. Yeah, that's good. Um, I got new gloves, so don't freak out. It's bright orange. Oh, we're only using one glove. I can't hold it and push it out left-handed. I hold it right hand and push it out left-handed. So, but all the black on that one, it's burning my hand. Which is to say, the quick and short, the short and sweet of the story, it burns my hand. So, Let's see, got me a new pair. Well, actually, they're not. They're not really the kind technically for this, but. I got them at um, Ollie's for two something. So, okay. And to pour this red here of the red shag color. Oh, that's going to be in the way I do that right there. I'm going to have to turn that around, I think. Okay. this one here. Whoop. Shut up. 
up that tip there. And this, this little thing I think I've told you before, it makes five, so. Makes five at one time, so we'll do it real okay. Don't take long to shoot one bag, so. But I will be doing a whole lot more of them. Because there's a lot of people out there that like red shad. I don't never do as good in it. That's because I don't have the confidence in it. Even though I know it's probably caught more bass than any other soft plastic color has. I uh, I prefer... Well, if I'm not using my June Bug Silver and Gold Flake, I prefer a Tequila Sunrise. And it took me forever... Whoa, now. To get to the... Get it to the way I like it. And I poured some here not too off long ago, and I actually like them, so. We had to do some more. Do something, so. Alright, there's the fifth one. Okay. We got all them poured. Set that one down on top of it. Take it, stand it up. Shoot it right. Put that in there. Just on right click here. And it's a little bit small, even though it's a large. Then I'm an extra large, so it's a tight fit. It doesn't want to go all the way down real good, so that's why I just you saw me pushing it down on my hand better. Alrighty. Now the black. Push out that air, pull up the plastic, push it out again, pull it up. Full dose of it. Hold on, man. Run off of there. Okay. Thank you. And then boom. And just hold it. No whole lot of power, because if you do, especially with just one, you're going to spread it enough that it will make a mess inside the mold and on your table too so that's long enough to hold it top it off i did it real thin so it wouldn't run over it stayed right on top of the hole there okay that sure looks pretty good right now so we're not going to worry about it it will draw in but where it's a laminate color it doesn't seem to draw in as bad at least on me personally so, I've been fortunate. It doesn't draw in really super bad when I do laminate. Good because, well, I, probably because, you know, where I'm doing, I'm just shooting one color. I mean, I will if it looks like it's going to draw down too much. Because once a blue moon, I do, I have to take the spoon like you've seen me do in my other videos and pop the color off. But these don't look too bad, so. Get back off now. Stir this up real. Now, even though there, it hasn't come on yet, but even though these are both um, below one, this one normally will come on first. Normally. I hope it will, but normally it will. Okay. Now, this black, I, well, I'll tell you what, I probably. In the red, when I put that red highlight in, I may, I might have been close to an eighth of a teaspoon. Table, no, a teaspoon. Um, I don't think it was quite an eighth, though, because my smallest one's a quarter, and I didn't even put half either time. If I'd have done it when it was all cold, I probably would have put about a half of a quarter tablespoon or a teaspoon. So, all right, it's drawing down a wee bit here. Let me just go ahead and put a little bit more into it. It might not hurt it, but we're going to do it anyway. Okay, there we go. And this is still pretty warm. I'm going to go ahead and put it right in there. It'll melt pretty quick for me. And since I've only got a little bitty piece right here, I'm going to break it in half and put it back in. This should all melt pretty. Whoops, got the piece on the top of it there. That should all melt pretty easily. Now, 
peel this off though and leave it to the side here. So I may have to turn this one up just a little bit to keep it good and stirred. Good and stirred, listen to me. But good and runny so I can pour it. Sometimes I have to, not always, but sometimes I have to, so. Now, if you were doing it like I'm doing, you can do, you can pour the black and shoot the red. It doesn't matter what color you shoot and what color you hand pour. It won't matter. As a matter of fact, on the next one, I'll pour the, well, the black's got too much. You would only, to do it how I'm doing it, you only want to put about a cup of plastic into this two cup holder. Because this, this little thing will hold about, right at about two cups of plastic, so. Yeah, to melt that, I'm probably going to have to turn it up a little bit here. That's okay. Yeah, I only did it uh, halfway between the notches, so it's not hardly on the number one yet. Yeah, so, all right. Let's uh, pull this out of here. And we'll take them down and lay them down here on the table. I've done a couple of colors that I didn't do on video. I've got my blue smoking pepper and the watermelon gold flake. So, and the blue smoking pepper is just a blue highlight with black flake. Okay. Now this one here, I can peel that off though, but okay. That looks ready to me. Okay, here. I'll get it closer to the camera for you. There's the black tie. You can distinguish real good, but there's the red tie. The black and the red. And I really like that bottom, like the way it comes out, so that looks really good to me. And since I pulled them out, I guess I show them to you, you just hold them pop the black fur piece right off. It comes up very easily, so it's not a problem. Put these right there. There's two. I'm going to have to pour as many as I can of these ones I got red. I'm really liking them. For somebody that doesn't like red flake, I mean, uh, red shed, I'm liking these. <laughs> yes, I am. Locking them pretty good. How I was getting ready to reach down and close it up, and I can't do that. So, okay, stir it up here now. Gotta get my red good and ready here. It's good and hot, so Lord, to melt up good for me. Comment below how many y'all been fishing or uh, how many, how many y'all caught some nice bass. It don't have to be on my bait. You know? Some people that watch, watch my videos make their own, so if you've been out catching some nice bass already, let me know. But I haven't been out yet. Uh, my, well, I only went three times last year. Once on my birthday, and I forget where the other two was. This year, my birthday falls on Sunday. I'm going to be fishing a tournament, hopefully, I believe, over on Car Fork Lake on Saturday, April the 13th. They're having a fundraiser for a little girl over there. Shit. And I'm going to go over and fish it, I'm hoping. Alrighty. The black is good, too. Alright. Pour this red up here. Put that down on my lap here a minute. Yeah, I'm get it here. So, okay. I know y'all can't see me, but doing this, well, you can't see it going in. As long as 
anything good by having the other angle. On your side. But at least hopefully you can hear me now. I did a little test video before I turned it on and you could hear it. So I'm hoping you can hear me good now. I will test it out first. So if I can't hear it, I will not post this. So me saying that is kind of... Um, What's the word? Uh, oh, I know what I'm wanting to say. Redundant. There we go. Me saying that is kind of redundant because if I can't hear it, I'm not going to post it. Like I did that one video of me making some of these. This is the first time I made these in a red shed. But my favorite color, well, other than my June Bud Silver and Gold, is Tequila Sunrise, and it's with or without, like, well, like I said, Tequila Sunrise, the with or without the green flakes. It's a killer color. It always has been for me before I ever started making my own bait. That was my favorite, my go-to color. And then I came up with my June Bud and Silver and Gold Flake color, and... When I start, well, when I start making my own bait, of course, and I love it. So, okay, got that down. Okay, move this handle here back in there. Oh, I didn't mean to put that red front thing in there, but oh well. You'll just have to melt back down again, won't it? Okay. All righty. Again. Take a black and make sure we don't have too much of a thick little top here. We don't. Okay. Push it in. Push out the air. Whoop. And suck it up. Okay. Well, there's a piece that wasn't good and done. That glob right there to the back. It just lights off. So we do need to do it again. You gotta be careful. I didn't turn that around that time. Okay. Now push it down. Mmm, that's not, I don't know, we may have a, these might not have worked out. I'm going to hope they do, but they might not have. They may not have. I've been rocking it here lately, holding it. Don't know it does anything. I just done it. It's kind of boring just staying here, you know, so. Okay, top it off. All righty. Now this you gotta hold on to, or it will pop off. Like this one doesn't lock on, doesn't screw on. It just pushes in and pushes out as you've seen. So that's why I hold it so it doesn't pop down in there. I lost it in there the other night. I had to fish it out with my spoon and then let it dry up, cool down. And if you're somebody just getting started. I have seen one plastic that said you could go to 340, do it at 340, had to get it to be 340. But I've always gotten up to 350. So, I could get it to 350 and then turn it down. And no, you haven't seen me shoot it with a gun because, or we even have a thermostat in it, thermometer. Not a thermostat, but a thermometer. Um, I've been doing it so long. I did use a thermometer at first. When I first got started back in 2004, I haven't used one in a while, quite a while, so I know where to set these up on to. Now this you know, when I've had to turn on and get everything red hot, it would turn on and just heat, you know, get it to, excuse me, back to what you set it at, but this first one, it does turn red hot on me, so I've got to be careful with it, just so we don't crit. Yeah, you gotta turn this thing way down. Or you will burn your plastic. Just the only one like that. That I've ever had that would do that. So okay. That one's not doing too bad. We're probably, we're not gonna put no more into it this time. The drawdown's okay. And it's going right down the center. And there's about an eighth of an inch all the way around it. It's just where it's full, 
So we're okay. We are and will be okay. Let's put it that way. We'll pull these out and that'll be it. I know I've only done 10 and I've half done a whole bunch on here, but I'm doing single colors and this will be over an hour video and I don't want to y'all to get too upset about that. So. As it is, it looks like it's about 35 at the moment, so. Okay, well, actually, it was about 35 and a half, but, you know. It'll be a little bit more than that time I cut it off, because I gotta let this, you know, get real good, good and done here, so. Oh, actually, it's about right. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Oh no, all right. I was worried these didn't come out right. They're okay. They're good. Got a little piece of a red hanging over right here. That, that's because I did it when I put it in the mold. But, there's the black side. There's the red side. You can tell it well. I didn't turn it over to get closer to it, but there's the red side. So, that's good. There's 10 that all come out real good. So, hope you enjoyed the video, the, the video today. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscriber button, please. Tell your buddy. Leave a comment. Like I said, you know, I asked you about who all's been fishing, so leave me a comment. How big a fish have you caught this year so far and all that good stuff? I'll be jealous. I haven't gone yet, so. As I've said in other videos, I lost two places where I could fish on Sunday afternoons after I get out of church. The one place, well, by now it probably has a four or five pound of bass in it, which should. Um, but the, it's not a big pond, so it's, and it's got a boatload of little bass in it, so it might not have. You may have one or two great big ones and a bunch of little ones, because they're eating all the little ones. But there is bluegill in it. Bluegill in it. I don't say blue gal, but bluegills in it. So there want to be some in it. But okay, like we said though, like the video, hit, give us a thumbs up, hit that subscriber button, hit the bell there on the notification over there on the right, and leave your comments. And as I say here at Dwayne's Custom Baits, they can swim, but they can't hide. Y'all have a good one. Bye bye.